In this video, I'm about to show y'all the top 10 overpowered glitch players in this game today in NBA 2K23. And you will be surprised who's number one on this spot. Let me know in the comment section who's missing on this list of being overpowered in this game that I don't know about. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Number 10, I gotta go with Carmelo Anthony from the Nuggets of 08 because he's very OP. He's 6'8. And not only that, he got silver quick first step. He got 94 ball handle. Not only that, it's crazy how that he got 92 speed and 89 acceleration. I never thought that Carmelo and Anthony in his prime would move that damn fast, but not 2K all. They like to make guys overpowered, but guess what? He is overpowered. And they gave him four home frame badges like Aging 3, Volume Shooter, and a Mini Magician. And not only that, he got a nice fast jump shot too. And especially if you put it on early, you're able to put it in their faces. Number nine, I gotta go with the 2012 Kevin Durant version because he's 6'10". He got silver quick first step. He can move very quickly. And he got a nice size up and dribble style. And not only that, he got three Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame badges like Comeback Kid, Asian 3, and he got Hall of Fame Dead Eye. That means that if you late on the contest, he will green in, in your face. But anyway, like I said, this Durant right here is more OP than the current Nets version because he got older. But in his prime, it don't matter if he's in a golden state or, or, or the Dunder. And also, this Durant right here could also play defense. He could block shots and play passing lanes. Number eight, I got to go with Stephen Curry. It doesn't matter if it's the 16 Warriors or the 17 Warriors. It's still, they still the same thing. They can perform the same. The only difference is from the current. He, he's downgraded. But I'm going to tell you why he's OP. If you know how to use him, if you skill... With this guy, that means that he's OP. If you're not nice with him, you don't know how to shoot, he's not OP, guys. So remember, he's still green in people's faces if you're not how to shoot him because he got Hall of Fame blinders, dead eye. He got Hall of Fame limits range. Y'all know what time it is. He got Hall of Fame guard up. He got volume shooter. He go crazy, man. He got 99 three ball, 99 mid range. He's not missing, unless, especially you leave him open. So it don't matter what kind of defense you put him on, he's still going to green your face if they know how to use him. I know it's going to be controversial on this one because some people might disagree with this top list and some people might agree with this top list because to me, in my opinion, John Morant is very OP compared to Curry because not only he could shoot the ball, he could also slash it against you. He could dunk on you anytime he feel like it. And he got gold quick for himself. That means that he can move very quick. And he played defense. He got gold pogo stick. And he got gold chase down artists. That is dangerous for a 6'3 point guard, man. This dude could do it all. He was comparing him to Derrick Rose, Allen Robinson, and etc. So this guy right here is no joke. You're going to need some help guarding this man. I don't think you can stick defense on him one-on-one -on -one unless you got Kawhi Leonard or Paul George or somebody that's already a lockdown. If you got a lockdown, you still can't keep up. Number six, I got to go with Shaq because he's very OP on offense when it comes to paint. And not only that, the paint defense is so trash is that it don't even matter what you do on Shaq. He will score on you if you got one man on him, two men on him, three men on him. Like, you could force it and it will drop just like that because the defense is trash in NBA 2K23. So, you can get away with it. So, Shaq, could, you could score like 50, 60 points with Shaq if you want to. And not only that, when you play against Shaq, some people like to all ball with Shaq. So, it's really hard to score on Shaq. You need like a special player like Michael Jordan or something like that or LeBron James on Giannis to score over Shaq. But you do if you do it with a role player, it's not going to work. Or somebody like an average all-star, it's going to be hard for you to score. Number five, I got to go with the 2001 Kobe Bryant, that Afro Kobe. Now, I'm going to tell you why this guy right here is very OP. Because he's he got a goal, limits take all. That means that you could dunk it from the foul line. He got gold postal wiser. He was dunking you inside that paint if you stand there. And not only that, he got Hall of Fame badges and shooting like violent shooter, dead eye. Like he go crazy. I don't want I don't want to say the rest because I forgot. But he got a lot of Hall of Fame shooting badges. And he only got one Hall of Fame badge on defense, which is the menace. Because what that does is that when you play defense, it takes away minus four. This is Hall of Fame on offense. I mean, it decreases their ability to minus four. Now. Playmaking badges, he got gold, clint breaker, that means that it's a blow by animations. And not only that, he got gold quick for a step, he able to move, and he got a nice dribble size up as well. 
Number four, I gotta go with the 2013 Heat LeBron James because this LeBron James is different. He got limits take off a goal. He got home frame postal wise. That means that once he gets in that lane and that paint, he's dunking on you. Especially if you know how to use the dunk meter, it'll be very easy for you. Plus, he got a bully badge on goal. So he able to bully his way and his opponent to the rim if he feel like it. It depends if the opponent play all ball, but it's like straight one on one. He would bully you anytime, especially. If you had a weak opponent like Cam Durant on LeBron, easy money all day. And he got an 88 three ball. He got 91 speed, 91 acceleration. And not only that, he got an 89 strength. He's strong like a bull. He's stronger than most centers in, in today's game. It's crazy. This LeBron James right here is different, man. How are you going to stop him? How? There's no way. He's very OP. He can do what he wanted to do. And he got limitless range. Number three, I got to go with the 96 Bulls version Michael Jordan because he's a GOAT. Some people don't think so. People think that LeBron James is a GOAT and I put him over LeBron James. I put LeBron number four, Michael Jordan number three. Some people think that, oh, LeBron James should be number three and Michael Jordan should be number four. So people got a different opinion, but I just put him in number three because he's a GOAT. He's a cover athlete. Why not? And not only that, his defense is on point. He got a lot of Hall of Fame badges on defense finishing and shooting so he's very op and they gave him a limitless range on this game i don't know why i think it's a mistake there and knowing that they gave michael jordan limits take off he got a nice dribble size up nice dribble style moves he could go around the opponent he got go quick first step i know i'll be saying quick first step because quick first step is very important on the players in this game Number two, I gotta go with Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I know everybody will agree with this because everybody know that he's OP, especially in tier three, even though they don't belong there. Cause not every center could stop him. Everybody is like average against this man. So he can score very easily. You could drop like 50 points, 60 points with this man without no double team. Even with the double team, you can still score because he's just that dangerous. He's 7'2", he man tall, and he can do what he wants to do. He got the scout hug. A lot of people don't do the scout hug. But anyway, he got a hall of fame. Draw step though, he got a hall of fame. Post technician, he got a Hall of Fame post lockdown, he got a Hall of Fame defensive anchor. That means that he could block shots, defend around the paint area. Even though the def the paint defense is not really good, but you can still defend if you time it. Number one, I had to go with Giannis. I know y'all surprised by this one because he's seven feet tall. He can move fast. This dude's like a demigod. He could defend. He could defend one through five positions. 